yes, 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 yes. She better work. You look gorgeous. So you agree? You look gorgeous. I, <laughs> I concur. I love my look. <laughs> One, two, three. Hey, everyone! Hey, guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special makeup transformation with my dear friend Carmen Carrera. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. <laughs> she just came in from the East Coast yes. and she is good friends with Ronnie, MUA Ronnie and I was like Ronnie let's hook it up like let's let's get down let's get dirty let's get wet and this is the look that we came up with today thank you so much thank you I love my look I feel like JLo already yeah that's what we were going for some bronze JLo really dewy give us strike us a pose girl um ooh ooh, ooh kill him mmm she looks absolutely gorgeous I hope you guys Guys, enjoy this tutorial and let's get started oh my gosh it is Carmen Carrera or should I say Carmen Carrera how's that for my R's I love her she's so beautiful so I consulted with her for those of you that have a client or have someone you're working on consult with them it's the number one key to having a great makeup application consult with your client so I consulted with her and she said her skin is normal to dry so here I am using benefit cosmetics total moisture moisturizer this is great because it smells amazing it's thick and it's creamy and it's great to prep for a full coverage foundation like this one this foundation is the remarkable foundation it is full coverage it's a liquid and it's very matte so it lasts all day so to prevent it from clinging to her dry areas or really clinging onto her skin for dear life I wanted to moisturize really well she has beautiful skin so the concealer that I am taking is the makeup forever HD concealer this concealer is amazing the technology behind Behind this concealer is crazy because it's so thin but it has amazing coverage and it is meant for high definition video for photography and I decided to use this with a flat brush by Morphe this double-ended flat brush I'm obsessed with double-ended brushes because you get multi-purpose and it saves a little bit of room in your kit so I'm using this buffing brush. This is a double-ended buffing brush for Morphe. It has a larger side, as you can see, which I am blending the high points of the face and a tiny brush for like the inner corner or um, spot treatment for concealer. And I like this because it is round and I didn't want to skip any of this because I really want you to see how gentle I am pressing onto her skin. You want to make sure you're really blending and I feel like you save a lot of money instead of spending $20 on a beauty blender on each client you can invest in a beautiful brush like this from Morphe and have it in your kit forever. Um, to set the under eye area, I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I love this because it is thin and it is micronized and it's a secret brightening powder, but I feel like it has a little bit of a flashback, but I canceled that flashback later on in the video using a powder to add coverage and um, knock this powder off. But for setting, this powder is great and it's amazing. And it's the Secret Brightening Powder by Laura Mercier. Mercier. So um, I am going to add this JLo Glow using the Makeup Forever Up Light Cream. Any creams would do. Um, Makeup Forever is amazing. I don't know if they still have this, but I know Becca has amazing liquid luminizers. But I'm taking this liquid luminizer and I'm using this on the outer parts of her face to where I didn't set. I only set underneath her eyes and her nose where the Makeup Forever concealer was applied just to add that beautiful glow from within so you can see it's very subtle but when the camera flashes it'll shine through so for her eyebrows I'm taking the Kelly Baker highlighting uh, pencil this is great for highlighting under the brows I know she has two colors of these which are amazing and I'm just using this simply as a brow guide um, to help me um, map out my brow preference for her so I'm gonna take this Tartelette in Bloom palette for her eyes and for the look today I 
just wanted to keep everything beautiful. I wanted to keep her skin glowy. I wanted to define her skin, define her eyes, define her brows. Just keep everything well defined and naturally beautiful like Jennifer Lopez, like Carmen Carrera. They're such beautiful women that I wanted to just enhance her features. So I'm taking simply these transition colors and buffing the eyes. As you can see, I'm lifting her brow with my thumb. Don't be afraid to get in there. She has deep set eyes, so I'm taking this dark chocolate color with the same Morphe brush. I'm using like literally one brush for the whole top part of her lid. And I'm just gonna define the outer third of her crease. I'm not really going in with black at all, but just simply defining with a dark chocolate brown, which is always fun. And then taking this champagne um, shimmery color for the lid just to kind of like pop the lids and give her like a flirty effect for when she blinks, you know, at the men tonight. So this is just a great neutral lid. And as you can see, it's very frosty and shimmery. So to prevent fallout, I am really patting close to the lid. Sometimes it's not always about the product, but it's also about the way that you apply the makeup. And you can see, and speaking of application, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. And it's always important to have fun. I just wanted to include our little laughing clip because it's about having fun with your client. That way they trust you. As you can see, she's having fun, clearly. She is so silly, she is so silly. But to bronze the face, I am taking the Full Coverage NC45 um, Full Coverage Foundation just as a cream contour and contouring her whole face. Um, and yes. Oh, for lashes, I am using the Lily Lashes, um, I believe in the style Doha, and they flare out at the ends. You can use the code PSTAR. Um, she loves bronzing, as you can see. This is her favorite part. I believe bronzing is my favorite part, but highlighting is also a favorite part of mine. Um, I bronzed her with Marc Jacobs Tantric Bronzer, and I'm highlighting her here with Charlotte Tilbury uh, finishing powder in the color medium. This powder is great. And th that's the powder that I was mentioning that I would knock off the secret brightening powder. For blush, I am using Tarte's Captivating Blush and simply just highlighting her face using the Broken Becca Trio. <laughs> it is so shattered, but it's kind of like a pigment and I'm just using this softly on the high points of her face with my Sephora Fan Brush. So I'm taking these uh, these eyeshadows, the Dusty Rose and the Terracotta shade on the bottom, and I'm just going to um, add some smoke underneath to balance out her top lashes and just really smoke it out. And I'm taking this nude pencil from Charlotte Tilbury, and I believe this is Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury, and adding this on her lips for that beautiful peachy effect. And this is one of my favorite lip glosses ever, Undressed by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and giving her a sexy gloss. I have been obsessed with glosses. I don't know, it's just so sexy and just iconic to me. Everyone should have a sexy gloss in their kit. And for brows, just doing what I do with the brows, just fill them in naturally, and that should be the finished look. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is the finished look. You look fab. You love. I can't. She looks so stunning. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Big shout out and thanks to Carmen Career for coming so on much. my channel. If you guys want to see more of her, let me know down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next on my channel. Be sure to give this a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Get your damn nails done. And I was like, okay. I got my first manicure a year ago. And then I found Formula X. I love Formula X because everything is beautiful from the nail care to the nail.